Hi, how are you doing? I'm doing well. Thanks for asking. How about you? I'm good, thanks. Can you help me with something? Of course. What do you need help with? Imagine that you are an experienced ABEP programmer and you write correct programs for SAP systems. Can you write a report in ABAP that shows all the users in the system? I would like the report to show the date the account was created and the lock status. Sure. Here's a simple ABAP report that retrieves and displays a list of users, their account creation dates, and their logon statuses. You can see the code in our conversation history. This program selects user information from the USRO2 table and displays the username, creation date, and logon status. The UF flag field represents the logon status, where different values indicate various statuses, e.g. locked, unlocked. Do you need any modifications or additional features for this report? Can you add the user-friendly statuses? Certainly. Let's add user-friendly logon statuses. Here's the updated ABAP report. You can see the code in our conversation history. In this updated version, the logon status is translated to a more user-friendly format. The UFLAG field is checked and a corresponding status text is assigned. The report then displays these statuses instead of the numeric values. Does this meet your requirements? Yes, thank you. You're welcome. If you have any other questions or need further assistance, feel free to ask. Dear Sapdelf, what was that? It was a new fascinating language model, and we are just starting its testing. There was a time when everyone thought OpenAI was lagging behind. And here we are, on May 13th, they unveiled a new model. GPT-4 O. O like Omni. Omni? Yes, they mean that it is multimodal. Like Gemini and Llama 3? Actually, yes. Only by the way, very responsive, emotional, and creepily human, I would say. I guess we have to start getting used to it. I think so. And is this model free like the others we tested? For now, it is promised to be free. We'll see. Interestingly, it probably has less parameters than GPT-4 Turbo because it is faster than it, but it is really good. Anyway, let's see what kind of report it created for us during the conversation at the beginning of this video. I switch to the web interface, where I have the history of the conversation. Here is the first version of the report with numerical statuses. And here is the second version, where the lock status is descriptive, copied to the clipboard. This is the part I asked for, with descriptive statuses. It's not likely to be all statuses, but at least something. Now that I have the code copied, it makes sense to move it to SAP and see if it works. Moving on to the GUI. This is my system, which I have presented many times before. I'm going to the SE38 transaction, which is ABAP Editor. I need to choose some name for the report. Let it be B the ZGPT list. After I click Create, I still have to select some options. I don't pay attention to the details, because this is my private, temporary sandbox. I need a name. I set the program type. I have to choose a package, but I can choose Local Object. I am waiting for an empty program to be generated. Oh, it is already there. Now I can replace it with what GPT-4 OMI gave me. Now the moment of truth. If I save, will it work to activate? Keeping my fingers crossed. Activated. I can run it. Amazing. It worked from the first time. Yes, a working program in one shot. A good-looking report with headers aligned correctly. I have to admit that it is impressive. Can we consider that we have a new winner? Not so fast. One time can only be a lucky draw. Let's ask for a redesign of the report to make it look more modern. I expect any programmer would suggest an ALV layout in such a case, but I won't suggest anything. We'll see if GPT Omni comes up with it on its own. It began to respond. Yes! It suggested ALV as a solution. 
how fast it responds. Yes, it responds at the speed of light. Not only very good, but surprisingly fast. It can't be a big model. Everything is ready now. Yes, the report looks clear, although it has gotten longer. However, I do not analyze the content. I'll copy and see what the errors will be. I am very curious if it will work. It would be a hit. Report replaced. It remains to save and activate. A moment of truth again and activated without errors. Awesome. The second shot without any mistake. Wow. Works as it should, displays the correct data. Yes, I must admit that I am positively surprised. It's a simple report and a very quick test. But it went fast because, first of all, the voice interface helped communicate what we meant efficiently. Second, the model responds incredibly quickly. And most importantly, we generated a total of three reports and there were no errors. This is really unique and means progress over LLMs tested before. Does this mean that ABAP programmers will lose their jobs? Not yet. It's not that level yet, but see how fast it's moving forward. Progress is wonderful, but a little scary. May progress always work in your favor and not against you, and may your job security never be threatened. See you next time. And don't forget to subscribe.